Now see the prop money, so you know what time it is. It's time to get into some saving challenges. Let go. All right, so today I will be doing some saving challenges with some money that I got back from my tax refund that I finally got, but we're not gonna discuss that. <laughs> today I will be cashed up for a total of $30 into my saving challenges. $4 will be going towards my monthly. $2 will be going towards my chill out. Fries, I have a roll and save challenge for this. I am estimated to do at least $3. And for my roll and save challenge, I have an estimate of $12. So we'll be, we will be doing these two first to see if I have any money left over. Then I will be putting $4 towards my teddy bear, $4 towards Calculate, and $1 towards my Smell Your Flower. So yeah y'all this is how i'm allocating my 30 dollars if you're new here i do do low income seven challenges because that is the budget that i'm currently working with so if you need some motivation please like comment and subscribe to my channel first we'll be getting into one of my newer seven challenges is the flower power rolling save and i've already completed two out of eight of these so these two have already been completed I will be starting this one today and on this one this challenge you can just do a roll and save and you can put your numbers down here or if you can choose to put the numbers on each one of the petals it's just however you want to do it and how many times you want to do it and I will be using my 12 sided die that I got from Toya from Toya's Tenacious Life um, I did put in a sticker that my girl Nyjah gave me uh, in here to decorate it with my logo and let's just see what we roll today okay so we got a 12 so that's the highest number I think I got for this challenge since I've been since I've been rolling and I budgeted 12 so that is fine okay so no different calculations i have to do for this right here and this is where i house these seven challenges right here so plus 12 and i should have a total of 49 dollars saved in this 49 dollars saved thus far i don't count the money i will spread it out so you can see but i don't actually physically count it until i finish the challenge so two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which is twelve. And all right, y'all. That's how the number rolled. Got the biggest number. I finished my challenges, then I figure out what I want to do with the funds. Okay, so now we'll be getting into the Friday Savings Challenge that I am collaborating with. Um, Nyjah from Budget and Bacon. I will have her link below. And Nine Blossoms. Um, I will have her link below. This is the challenge that I made last year. And Nyjah brought it back on her channel. Doing it on Friday. On Fridays. Um, I'm not doing it on Fridays. Because I don't usually post videos on Friday. So I do it when I can. And on my version. If I roll an odd number. It will go towards the baby fries, which is worth a total of a dollar per fry um, bunch. Then if I roll an even number, it would go towards the real fries, i.e. the crinkle fries. Team crinkle fry in the house, baby fries, whatever. Uh, <laughs> if I roll an even number, each fry would get $2 because the baby fries... They babies. They don't need a lot of money. They probably worth like 50 cents to be honest. <laughs> the shade is real. What's up, Nigel? What you got to say in the comment section? <laughs> Y'all. Me and Nigel been having so much fun. And then uh, Nine, been, uh, Nine Blossom been joining in on our antics too lately. So girl, let go. Three, six, nine. <laughs> All right, let's roll this dice. See, I get an odd or even. Okay, so I got an odd which is a dollar so that means I have two more dollars to allocate which I will do that in a minute and I'm going to do I'm probably gonna do 
the baby fries in mustard because I don't like mustard and I don't like baby fries. The shade is real. Okay, so <laughs> let's get into the cash stuffing. And right now it has two dollars. At this dollar, I would have a total of three dollars saved. Alrighty, so it has this three dollars. Now that I did my rolling save, I can now allocate the remaining two dollars I had from what I saved with the fries challenge. So the fries got challenge got a dollar, and the rolling save got um, twelve dollars. I will be allocating two more dollars towards my monthly challenge. So let's double check and make sure that the math is mathing. Monthly will be getting now six dollars plus two plus one plus the 12 from the roving save plus four plus four plus one. And y'all, that is $30 allocated. This is my 96 envelope monthly savings challenge. And today I will be allocating a total of $6 and I needed a total of $4 to complete the August savings challenge because each one of the envelopes were worth a dollar and I will roll over the two extra dollars from the fry challenge to September and for September I wanted the envelopes to be worth a dollar and yeah y'all let's just get into it Okay, so that is exciting. I am finished with another month. Today is actually 6-24. If you are new here, I pre-record all of my cash stuffings. And since this money just hit, I went ahead and did my savings challenge video. This will be posted in the second week of July. For the rolling save, I am doing it different. I am not counting the cash. I want to be surprised by what I actually save. And today I'll be allocating the five and the six right here. So I am having to cash condense because I'm running out of twos and I don't want to buy any more prop fields. So that's what it's looking like thus far. Alrighty. Nice little chunk there. Be excited to finish the challenge and see how much to save. We'll be getting into my chill out with ice cream. Um, a5 saving challenge this is available on my buy me a coffee shop and these digital world currently for this challenge i'm trying to save a total of 40 dollars and each one of my ice cream scoops are worth a total of two dollars and that's what we'll be getting today so i do like to do a variation of challenges where i can either pick the number or the numbers already designated usually under five dollars per icon so i did already update my trackers offline before i started filming and i'll say that it is 624 i'll be adding a total of two dollars and that will give me a total of 14 of the 40 dollars saved for this challenge so there we go Next, we'll be getting into my mini saving challenge book that I do have available on Amazon. The link is always in the description of my videos. If you're interested in this, it does have a total of 24 challenges and trackers. And for this one, I will be allocating a total of $4. I am trying to save a total of $32 and each one of my teddy bears are worth $2 each. And I should be able to finish this hopefully in my next cash stuffing video, waiting on some money to come in. And as I stated, I will be allocating $4. As you see, I am stuffing small amounts. It's been a while since I stuffed over $30 in my videos on my channel. And as I stated, only reason I made stuff this is because of my refund I got from the IRS. So we got two more bears to go. And I do try to finish um, at least two challenges a month if I can, just depending on how the money goes. I am 100% self-employed and I am currently working part-time and I have been working part-time for a while. I haven't been able to find a full-time job. The market is just crazy where I'm at right now and it has been for a while. So 
when it's time, God will bless me. So until then, we stuff in these two dollars. My last two dollars. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Two, four. <laughs> we over here, we're not too serious on this channel. I like to keep it real, keep it fun. And I like to joke. So for this challenge, I should have a total of the 28 of the 32 saved. So I need four more dollars and I'll be finished okay. with this. Okay. Next is my Easy Saving Challenge book that is also available on Amazon. And these have a total of 11 challenges and trackers on the back. And I am currently working on, oh, I finished quite a bit already. I finished one, two, three, three of these challenges so far. So that is exciting. Didn't realize I finished that much. And this one today will also be getting a total of $4, trying to save another $32. And each one of the icons are worth $2. Once I finish my challenges, I do allocate the funds to whatever special fund or area that I need the money. So I don't plan it out in advance. I used to plan it out in advance when I was able to cash stuff more on a regular, but now I put it where it's most needed. This year, most of my money from my special funds has been going to car repairs. So yeah, I did put some of my refund towards car repairs, so that did help out some, but it still needs some more money for some maintenance I got coming up. My next time I go get my car serviced, which is probably gonna be either the end of the year or first of next year depending on how everything goes with my car but i am glad that my service tech told me in advance so i can save the money because it's i have to get a tune-up and those are very expensive okay one more to color in uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel i thank you to my all my new subscribers and my old subscribers i am getting a little bit more subscribers than usual and I am getting a little bit more engagement. So thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much. So yeah, y'all, that's another challenge. As I stated, we get a total of four. So two, three, and four. And I should have a total of $10 now saved with the calculate challenge. And my last challenge for this video is stop and smell the flowers. This is available on my buy me a coffee shop. It is print to ship. And I do include tracking numbers on all of my print to ship orders to protect your purchase and to protect my business. So it will be getting a total of $1. And that means I am finished with the first row. Okay, so with this seven challenge, with me adding that dollar, I will be, I will have a total of $7 saved now. And there's the seven. As you see, my tray is gone and I have stuffed and stretched all of the seven challenges that I'm currently doing. I have allocated money towards all of those challenges with $30. Don't let nobody tell you, you cannot save money when you have small amounts of money because you can if you want to see some more motivation of me doing low income budgeting please like comment and subscribe to my channel i also do uh, videos on mortgage payoff journey that i'm currently on and my dividend portfolio because i do invest even though i do have a lower income if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a flower emoji. And y'all, don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you. And I'll see y'all next one. Bye.